as is the norm and practice of, of, of NAM, mm. we have three segments of the summit. The first segment, which is two days, is the senior official segment, yes. which will be officially opened tomorrow by me and with my colleague, the minister, the deputy minister of foreign affairs of the outgoing chair, and it will, we will have the opening ceremony here. Yes. Then after that, we will break out to the two committees of the senior officials meeting, which is the Committee on Economic and Social Affairs, which will sit here. Mm. And then the Committee on Political Affairs, which will go across to the Victoria Board. Hall. Yes. So that will be tomorrow. And this will continue up to the end of Tuesday. So, so General, what is the theme of the Nanaline movement and what are the objectives you're hoping to achieve in the senior officials' meetings here? The f first of all, the senior officials' meetings are really what you would call the workhorse of the whole summit. They are the guys who are going to review the documents which will then be looked at by the ministers on Wednesday and Thursday and by their excellencies, the summit itself on, Thursday, on Friday and Saturday. Now, the documents which they will be looking at will be the documents which we call the outcome documents, uh, which is the main document really has been discussed since Baku. Mm. We will only be reviewing because in the course of the, of the time since Baku, countries have had uh, new developments, new issues, and they've been submitting them to our coordination bureau, which is the permanent representatives of the members of NAM in New York. They have been discussing this document, but since that time, again, member countries have been able to raise new issues. So those are the issues they are going to be looking at tomorrow and the day after tomorrow. Once they have done that, and we believe hopefully at the end of those two days, there will be a substantive agreement on the issues around the document which I have just been mentioned, which we are calling really the main mm. outcome document. There will also be a discussion of what we call the Kampala Dis Declaration. What is significant and what is important for us all to know is that particularly the Kampala Declaration will be around the theme uh, which is for global affluence. Cooperation mm. for global affluence. affluence. What are we up to? We are mindful of what the situation around the world right now is. We know we have conflicts, we have climate change issues, we have migration issues, we have uh, terrorism issues, but we are mindful significantly that perhaps the driver to many of these issues is the economic situation. Mm. And this is why we are seeking collaboration among the NAB members in order to improve the economic situation for co once the communities, the people are better off, they are less predisposed to those issues I have just mentioned. So the intention is discuss these issues, find out ways and means in which we can together cooperate in ameliorating those challenges. And I'm glad you're talking about the economic issues, even as we get into an, a global uh, village as we are there. As a country, are we ready for this? And uh, what opportunities are we seizing with NAM and the South Summit being in Uganda? Uh, first of all, you are here in this conference hall, and you can see we are ready. Mm. As to the question of the issues, we've been trying to work with our colleagues in the movement and we are trying to encourage them to see to it that we use the Kampala conference to shine a greater light on these issues and we hope that Uganda 
will become a driver in as far as these issues. That therefore creates an opportunity to shine a light on Uganda and Uganda to lead this movement in that direction. General, lastly, my question is, uh, you will be switching the chairmanship from Azerbaijan to Uganda as a country for the next three years. What do you hope to achieve in those three years, being that you will be at the forefront of these two? Uh, first of all, we will be seeking to use the strength of this movement to articulate the questions around socio-economic issues. Mm. In particular, we would like to look at the question of financing development, we would like to look at the question of the debt burden, which by far have affected the development agenda. And this is where we would like to shine more light on. Thank you very much, General. I wish you all the best tomorrow. Yes. Hope to see you tomorrow and uh, also have an interview on what uh, the different committees will be discussing but and to look at the Kampala Decla Declaration. I am available. <laughs> Thank you, General. Most welcome. So you've just seen General Jejo Dong there give us a few nuggets of what will be happening tomorrow, especially on the two committees, one seated here, one seated in the, uh, in the other boardroom there, and they'll be discussing that. But you can also see the flags at the back there. They show you exactly what number of countries will be here. Not Nuts and bolts are being put together to ensure that tomorrow and the whole week is successful. He has also given you what the two days look like, what Friday will look like when the presidents come in and Saturday to be able to finalize this. But tomorrow is where they dig their feet in to ensure that the Kampala Declaration is given when we come to the end of the NAM Summit. But from us to you as UBC, we'll ensure that we give you all these interviews, every nitty gritty that happens here, so that you're kept in touch with what's happening. From me to you, God bless you. Have a fabulous